meant for an adult audience. Love, love, love line may contain sexually oriented content. Mm, listener discretion is advised. Love line with Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. Hey everybody, it's Love Line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number one eight hundred L O V E one nine one. Dr. Drew, board certified physician, addiction medicine specialist. Lisa Durgan is here tonight from. Uh, well, let's see. Stuff Magazine. Stuff Magazine uh, named her uh, the sexiest sportscaster, Drew. You can yeah. see that. Yeah, makes sense, yeah. right? <laughs> I mean, there is some competition these days. Yeah. There didn't, didn't used to be, yeah. but uh, there's a lot of, uh, of good-looking ladies in the, uh, in the world of sportscasting, and they're not just talking heads. Like, uh, they're actually into sports. Lisa was uh, talking her ear off about golf yeah. uh, oh, last you time. How could we forget? <laughs> she loves her goddamn golf, this Lisa. <laughs> She's a great golfer. Just ask her. And uh, I'm no good at golf, so I'm bitter. But uh, she yes, also sir. excluded you from your, her list of potential mates because of that. Because of my yeah. inability yeah. to play golf. Yeah, I've just... never had a boyfriend that wasn't at least out there with me all the time. Well, I'll go out there with you. Well, I don't want to play with you if you're not that good. Oh, he, mm. That's not the point. He's just going to sit there. He's going to drink yeah, beer. Be drink the red wine we were talking about. Hey, oh, golf okay. is great because the chick comes by in the golf cart, which is really just like a, a you know mini keg truck. Like She comes by with booze. Like, what other... Sport is somebody with booze on wheels that come by and ask you, you know, make change and give you Pringles and give you, give you beer. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where they drive up to you, but if you're at a baseball game, they walk down the steps. But usually, they're not a cute girl. Yeah, but you're yeah, not playing no, baseball, though. No. Yeah, you're not playing. This is you're actually participating in a sport. <laughs> I see your point. Someone's giving you beer. All right. Well, that'll uh, get you out there. <clears throat> Lisa is uh, also part of the uh, Best Damn Sports Show period, which uh, I think I did a couple of weeks. I was going to say, yeah, but I didn't see you. Well, I'm not on the set yeah, every single day. I'm right, a you're doing correspondent so. work. <laughs> but I didn't see it. I didn't see it piped in via the TV set or whatever. I, I could have been on, on the floor right above doing my anchoring, so I probably was in the building because I do remember you you stopping by. She is a uh, former uh, St. Polly girl, by the way, which is uh, I don't know. I have a very and true. Now be honest Visceral. with me. I have a very vi no. I was going to say soft spot in my heart. For the hot chicks on the beer posters at the liquor store. Sure, I, I, that's I all you had when you were uh, the younger male. Yeah, no, I, Adam, it is. Would, Adam would stare about it, stare and take note, and then go home. I worked. I worked at a liquor store when I was in high school, and and I would stare at those beer posters. And there was something. I, I don't think posters have the same uh, connection or lure they have with teenage boys as they did when we were growing up. But that's kind of what we had. And it didn't have to be, you know, uh, Fair Fawcett or Linda Carter or some, you know, something like that. Linda Carter? Well, she was in a Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman outfit Wonder Woman. once. <laughs> Don't you ever. Oh, my, oh my God. <laughs> shh, Hold on. Shh, shh, shh. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm like a ninja. Yeah. Linda Carter in the Wonder Woman outfit was hot. But, okay, here's my point. I worked at the liquor store. I would see uh, the St. Polly girl of your, of course, and there's like the... But that's why I refer to Mc a visceral Ke reaction, because it's so much a part of your yeah. youth and memory. Yeah, the Makita Tool girl was hot. It's hot. You know, and that's all you had. Yeah, that's what I also had. Yeah. You had that in the pool box. No, the, the raft. inflatable raft box. Yeah. Hot. I was in love with a chick that was on a raft box. Oh, my gosh. The, she was floating day, on the raft. That's all young males had was for images of the hot. female. Was I used to go to the Big Five in Studio City just to check. I couldn't afford the raft. Oh, I didn't have a pool. Unbelievable. But I stare, stare at, the, at the raft box. Well, St. Pauli made a six-foot cardboard cutout, so yeah. I should oh, have yeah. brought that in for you. <laughs> no, no, I got, I got He's okay one. now. I got one. Yeah. I got one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Had hinged the knees. <laughs> yeah, I just used shoe leather. Oh. I didn't actually put a hand shot. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's great? Yeah, what's great? Also, another reason why I'm here is oh, the bench warmer right. trading card, yeah, that's which what I you want can to talk carry about. in your pocket. That's what I need, because I cannot travel with that six-foot cardboard look cutout this, of yours. Adam, here, look. Yeah, they got bench warmer uh, trading cards. This is uh, Lisa holding a football and wearing a, uh, well, I call those panties, yes, Drew? Yeah, and uh, and little a bra, hot little hot pant panty things. Now, wait, is there gum in here? <laughs> Why did you open it up? All right, series three just is coming out now, this week. Is this? Uh, look, I got I, I I must admit, I I never collected uh, baseball cards or trading cards or, or comic books or anything like that. Well, so you were I, just staring at the posters at the liquor store. Yeah, yeah, and so. I, n I never got into this stuff. Is it big? Is it is it sweeping the nation? It's a phenomenon. It is. These, 
Yeah. And where do you get these? Everywhere. Spencer Gifts, Tower Records, any any place where you can buy trading cards has them. And, and do you go to... Uh, you can go to benchwarmer.com. Mm-hmm. And what's great is, mm-hmm. it's girls. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, we don't see a bunch of sweaty guys with uh, pork <laughs> chop sideburns <laughs> and uh, you know slugging percentage. You just got hot chicks in bikinis. And then you collect and you trade. Here's yeah. a piece of a bikini on this one, Adam. Oh, oh, there's an actual piece of a bikini on here. It's like a... Uh, this one may be scratch and sniff, Drew. Okay. I knew you were going I, there. Yep. Well, I mean, look and, at that. And the girl, what you, what, if you, you look at her picture, I think she's wearing... That bikini. Yep. She's wearing... And there's actually... <laughs> Hold on, but are we in prison? I got porn at home. <laughs> <laughs> we think we're on an island somewhere. I'll go home. I got tons of porn. What do I need this for? Ooh, look, Drew. You get to Carry touch it. in your pocket. Ah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. It's, it's to break the 14-year-old in slowly. I see. So. I see. This is for the young man. This is for any man. Or woman. No, no, women are going to be, women are, be no, women are gonna pissed off if they see it. <laughs> wow. Crazy, uh, crazy batch of ethnicities here, too. Look at that. You got one of everything. Now, wait, uh, Kathleen Collins. So you're, uh, wait, did I find you? Is I this think, you? I think you got me right there. Yeah, okay, good. And when you get Series 3, I'll uh-huh. have the cover. Oh, really? All right. Well, give me those. <laughs> I'm going to take this one. I like this one. Who's this chick? See the... Yeah, the Kathleen listeners, Collins. Nothing wrong the listeners with her. can't see these, but they can go out and get them. They're so they'll see looking. what you've got in your hand right now. Yeah. Well, that's the that's the uh, that's the uh, plan. Engineer oh, Chris is eyeballing this oh, a little bit. You want uh, some of this? They take some of these. Come on, from a bone. There you go. They take that. He lives at home. I know you think that's hot, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, these are and there's some are rookie cards like uh, Sonia Vera over here. It's a rookie card. You've got it all in there. Yeah. All right. All right. And you can Something get these. Something for everyone. You can get them where? Anywhere. Tower Records, Spencer Gifts, Benchwarmer.com if you're lazy and you mm-hmm. just want to go right to the site. They don't have gum, though. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't they come with gum? Do you want it for the gum? Well, it's just one of those things. So like, I, you don't want the parsley, but you're mad if it's, it's not it's on the more, side of the it's, plate. It's also, what do you tell the person at the cashier, cash register? Yeah, now you're just buying pocket porn. Right. At this place, like, uh, in this case, be like, I want some gum. Uh, I guess there's some scantily clad chicks I got to Well, you can get buy too. a pack of gum right. when you're buying one of these. Well, uh, all I'm saying, if you're doing trading cards, you got to you got to <laughs> shove the gum in there. That's, that's all I'm saying. We'll throw a pack in there for you. <laughs> all right, please. Please do. All right, Drew. That's enough. All right? Yep. You good? <laughs> All right, we're moving forward. Kelly? Yes. You're 17? Yes, I am. Hold on a second. I'm the first guy to think of putting gum in here. You got to put gum. It's like there's a some sort of federal mandate <laughs> that says you have to put gum in, in trading card things. It, it, and by Not the anymore. Way, That's in the old days. Uh, the cellophane, uh, I would be angry if I bought this and didn't have gum in it. Because cellophane says gum? It, this says gum. This screams gum at me. The oh shouts gosh. from the highest mountain. You gum. know what? If you want a trading card with a guy on it, you get the gum. If I you guess get so. the ones with the girls on it, we think that's enough. All so. right. You're probably right. But look, Engineer Chris, look at that. Now, you would think, you bet me $1,000, give me 10 to 1 odds that that had gum in it, right? All right. Yeah, you okay? All right. Ready to do it. Yes, man. All right. You ready? Yeah. All right. Uh, Kelly. Yes. You're 17? Yes, I am. What's up? Um, my boyfriend is in Hawaii, and he's not coming home until next Christmas. Mm-hmm. So, that's like seven months away, and mm-hmm. I don't know, it's kind of like banging my head against a brick wall, I guess. Like, mm-hmm. I, I really don't know what to do. What's he doing in Hawaii? He's in the Marine Corps. When's he coming back? Um, Christmas. What's he, for, uh, how, how long, for good yeah. he's going to stay in Christmas? Oh, uh, no, he's, he signed up for five years, so he's been in for a year and a half. No, no. Like, Kelly, this doesn't sound like something you should... I just got, I got a note from producer Ann that next year's series will have gum in it uh. because people, well, have been outraged, quite frankly. <laughs> outraged. But I'll tell you what, what's going to end up happening is from now on, they're going to have gum in them. The ones that didn't have the gum collectors. will become collectors. So don't open them. Don't just open them. them. Well, you could even open them, but... But the point is, it won't have any of that white powder residue yeah, that yeah. comes off the gum, and that'll become a collector series. I know it sounds funky now, but this happens all the time. Yeah. Records that have a deleted track on them or something later on, they become collectors because Records. what they don't have. You see what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. All right. She doesn't know what a record is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, well, I'm going back in the day. Oh, for Christ's sake. It's very funny. <laughs> what? Well, uh, 
I know what a record uh, is. No, but I'm, I'm saying records because I'm saying it was a collector. Stuff's yes. worth a lot today yes. because in, in the days of yore. I just the reaction was classic. <laughs> records. <laughs> records. I'm just La giving you a hard da. time. I know. What am I, 65 and you're 14? <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. No kidding. All right, where Let's are we? Let's help her. Yeah, Adam is sensitive about his age these I'm days. I'm really sensitive. He is sensitive. I'm sensitive. He is. Yeah. Very sensitive. We had, we had a 21-year-old in here, and uh, she wasn't interested in him, and it sent him a reeling. She said I was too old for her. Oh. Reeling. Yeah. And I'd explain to him that this she just meant she was healthy to be weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she actually, it was at uh, Alicia Cuthbert. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Hot stuff. Well, she's riding high now. Talk to her in a few years. She'll be begging for me. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly? Yes. So, Kelly, this sounds like a relationship that may not be meant to uh, meant for right now, anyway. The, the people your age, 17, 18, 19, tend to sort of try to cling to relationships because you feel like this is the one and only and there's never going to be anything like this again. But it's, it's sort of normal for people to split up and go on with their life and go to college and go into military training, whatever it might be. Mm. Takes them apart. And, and if you get back together again in the future, that's fine. But you really got to get on with your life right now. I can't believe this son of a bitch is in Hawaii when everyone else is in Iraq. Well, he may end up, he's got five, four more years to go. I hope he goes there. What's he doing in Hawaii? Um, he's, um, I can't remember the name, uh, meteorological equipment technician. Hmm. Oh, we got some sort of base over there. It's so interesting. Each of us, you know, we here as a marine, we got the gun on the front lines. And no. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. It's fix like the I, landing gear at a Navy jet. That's what that's, I. That's I, I know. Every everybody works for an airline. I figure flies the plane. Right. Really, like right. less than one percent of them actually even see the plane. Right. Yeah, that's that's. But I oh, you fly planes. Well, it's funny because you're missing an arm and you're blind. You work on the plane. You're uh, morbidly obese. You're no. You can find a wheelchair. Yeah. I, I attract baggage. So you're not flying the plane anymore? <laughs> uh, I never did fly the plane. Oh, you gave up flying the plane. Yeah, I can't. It just, yeah. we go right to the exciting part. Uh, yeah. That's a good or, thing. Or, or what our brain sort of what takes brain, us to, yeah. Well, we, we just don't have room in there to pull out all the nuances of every job. Yeah, the support teams. All right, Kelly, just, I think it may be time. All right. All right. Get on with your life. Molly? Yep. Molly? Hello. You're 16? Yeah. What's up? Um, I have been going to a therapist, like, for maybe five months now, kind of, like, on and off. Mm. But, um, like, I can't open up to her, and I don't really, like, open up to my friends or anything, like, How come? about anything. How come? Um, I don't know. All what, right. What kind of stuff you got in there that needs to be brought out? No, oh, I just have never been able to do it. But what what is well, what it you we, need to yeah, bring what up? What do you need to know? You're 16. You ha maybe you don't have anything in you. Well, okay, like, whenever I get depressed a lot, or, like, I, it's, like, hard for me to tell any of my friends, like, anything. Uh, all right, well, first off, is there anything deep and dark we need to know about? Um, you ever, like, like, molested what? or physically abused? You ever get a cellophane packet with cards in it and no gum? <laughs> you ever, ever traumatized no. that way? No. No. Uh -huh. uh, so you're just a 16-year-old who has his, her good days and her bad days? Yeah, but it's, like, all the time. And, like, I think more than, like, or, like, all the time during the day, everything I do, I always regret it. All right. You're depressed. I would just go okay, talk to yeah, and so... Uh, all right. Hold on. I'm, I'm not deeming this a call. I, f I feel bad... For her, but yeah, join the party. Every sixteen-year-old in the world <laughs> right. thinks she's fat and doesn't like her friends and doesn't feel like she can uh, open up to anybody. Uh, Molly's depressed, like eh, half the nation is. Uh, here's what you got to do: Let's start talking to your friends. There you go. You don't open up to them. You don't want to open up to them. Too bad. To, go ahead and do it. That's what they're there for. Yep. And by the way, everyone, just sort of kickstart yourself a little bit. She's going to therapy. Let's go ahead and do it. All right. Five. Yeah. Yeah. Holly? Yeah? You're 17? Yes, I am 17. What's up? Um, well, um, I slept with my best friend about a month ago. Yeah, a female, and, uh, it says. You're lesbian. <laughs> yeah. No, bisexual. Bisexual. Yeah. Well, sorry, your highness. Well, it's okay. I love you. Drew, you're way off. I didn't... Oh. <laughs> I heard you say lesbian. Okay. You're a lesbian. You're Mormon? <laughs> yeah. <What? laughs> Mormon. Mormon lesbian. All no, right, go no ahead, woman. Holly. All right, so you slept with your friend. Yeah. Your best friend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, 
like, um, now she's like freaked out because somebody found out about it and now like she's telling everybody I raped her and all kinds of crap. Oh my mm-hmm. God. Mm-hmm. Is there anything that might have made her think you raped her? Or? Oh, the no, roofies and the I know her pretty <laughs> well, and I know it's pretty much oh, because she naughty. doesn't want anybody to know that she's, like, bisexual. Mm-hmm. So she's just afraid to admit it, so she decides well, to go... You know, how did this all go down, yeah. so to speak? How did it happen? Well, we've, like, we slept with each other at least five times before she decided to go tell everybody this. Ah. Uh, does she initiate these things? She's the one who initiated the first place. Yeah. She sounds pretty chaotic. Uh, yeah, Lisa? H- Holly sounds like a sack also, of trouble also. herself. Put the two yeah. together. I am not trouble. Where's your loser dad? What'd he do to you before he left? That's always the question. Yes. That's mean. Where well, is he? What happened? Where is he? He's upstairs. Aha. Uh-huh. Mm. He's in heaven. No. Actually, <laughs> in his bedroom. <laughs> his bedroom in heaven? No. Oh, okay. He lives, lives he, he lives with you? Yeah. What's he do? Muffler shop? Um, my mom and my dad run a preschool daycare in my uh, house. Uh, in, your oh. house. in your house? Yeah. Did they do anything weird to you? No. That's got to be weird. Preschool. <laughs> no. Kids. Rats running no, around the carpet everywhere. Hmm. You no know, physical abuse, huh? Hold on. How come I... How come... How come I don't trust anyone who opens a daycare center? <laughs> what is that? I know. Why shouldn't... Why We should like these people, I, I think right? I we're so used to hearing about all the horror stories. Yeah. No, yeah. It, it just... It feels like... A ba- it, it, it feels like an abnormal impulse. Like a strange... Do it in your house. It there's feels intrusive. Some, there's something wrong with it. Yeah, it's yeah. weird and intrusive because it's in your house. Yeah. It's, it's, it's sort of... It's, 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 it's crazy ambitious and super lazy at the same time. <laughs> like, right. on one hand... You're going to have, what, 27 uh, four-year-olds running around in your house all day? That's crazy. The other part is, how lazy are you that you can't get dressed and go get your own job? Right. I, I just, I, I don't trust and, it. And it's such a personal thing to bring children into your own yeah. home. It, it seems a weird boundary issue. Yeah. I'll, it, you, you, you know what it is? What happens you know when what somebody doesn't pick up their kid? <laughs> you oh. want to sit down and have a glass of wine. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... Maybe a little sleeping pill, too. <laughs> yeah. We're going to try some ambient, me and Lisa, in the parking lot after the show. Oh, that'll be pretty. There'll be a first s- for everything. We'll yeah. sleep on the parking lot. Well, I may have to crash at your place. I don't think so. Well, when I say crash, I mean actually drive <laughs> my car into the side of your house. I, mean, I literally mean <laughs> That's crash. what's going to happen. That's what I mean when I say crash at your path. <laughs> Sometimes it's confusing when people don't yeah, know after what I'm an ambient, What the hell are you going to do? I may have to crash at your pad, and then I'm actually parked in my car in the living room. All right, uh, Molly, um, Molly, something screwy with Molly. Molly? Uh, my name's Holly. I, I mean, Holly, what's wrong with you? What do you mean, what's wrong with me? Something seems up. How'd you become bisexual? How did what I happened become to bisexual? you? Well, I've been bisexual. I've actually mm. been attracted to girls. Since mm. are, you le- are you lesbian or just not? It. Are you lesbian? No, I'm bisexual. I'm surprised you guys are quizzing her on it. Isn't that ever guy's dream? Nah. Yeah, but well, this, yeah, yeah, but it doesn't really happen without a lot of stuff going yeah. on. Yeah, it's not on this show. When did you lose your virginity? Um, like this year. Really? Yeah. When's the first lost, time you're with a? Know, the day. <laughs> when was the first time you were with a girl? The first time I was with a girl. About any time. You were twelve. Yeah. Now mm-hmm. we're talking here. Mm-hmm. And who was the girl? Her. And how old is she? Same girl. Well, she's the same age, right? We haven't established yeah. that. She's All right. 17. All right. So, are you, you think you're in love with this girl? Oh. Oh, I was. You were. May, this I girl was. may be an abuse survivor, mm-hmm. and maybe she acted out on, mm-hmm. on Holly. Was, um, you, you were in love with her. So, you're calling her your friend, but you're really falling in love with her. I've been in love with her for a long time. She just doesn't know about it. Oh. So you're a lesbian. Oh. You're not You're not. Yeah, uh, that's bisexual. a lesbian. No, I like men, though. All right. I'm well, that's just men also. All right. Well, look. Here's my uh, here's my plan for you. This chick's chaotic. This is just going to be drama. She, she, I guarantee you, she's a, the 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 girlfriend's a sexual abuse survivor. Yeah. Acting on when she's twelve. All right. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wasn't both, thinking about 12. all that stuff at twelve. No. Oh no. You weren't. No. What were you thinking about? Well. Golf. Golf. Golf was twelve. Was when I started. Yeah. So you're thinking about golf. I was thinking about golf. All right. And my lessons twice a week. That's what I was worried about. Golf lessons? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to kick my dad right in the nuts. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm going to borrow your sand wedge <laughs> and just uh, tee off right on a sack. <laughs> golf lessons. Can you imagine lessons? 
I did that for my kids. You got them golf lessons. What about they, like, they had like a golf camp. They went to golf camp? Yeah. Oh, that's the hell's so wrong? You're going to turn those kids into, into like uh, wasps. <laughs> It'd be an like Aryan they youth. To well, because they want to they be, they want to go to Mars, too. Yeah. They don't get to go. It's like a week long. Oh, camp. Truce kids. They go to the Disneyland Hotel for like a month. This is like Michael Jackson. They take up a whole floor. <laughs> it's the entourage. Come on. This, you're going to ruin those kids, Drew. Yeah. They're going to lose their eye. They need their edge. Yeah, you're right. They're going to be hungry. Yeah, you're right. You got to be hungry. You're right. Drew, what's the most important thing for someone to be? Got to be hungry. I just say hungry. Uh, okay, hungry. Just say a big part. What's the most important for uh, thing for something to be? Oh, yeah. Just say hungry when I point. You ready? Yeah. And? What's the most <laughs> important quality a man can have? No, say hunger. A man can have. Hunger. Yeah, but. Hunger. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Now get a hand in and break it down. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, Lisa. Get a hand in. We're going to break it down now. you got to be hungry now. Don't sit on your helmets. Helmet's not a chair, gentlemen. <laughs> All right. Laura? Laura? Yes? You're 18? Yes, I am. What's happening? Well, um, I've been seeing this guy for about three months, and he can't come when we're having sex. Mm -hmm. And it's been on three occasions, I think, that he has been able to come, but um, he doesn't. And I actually, I've questioned it before, and he's let me know that he has to fake his orgasms with most of his lovers, which, mm -hmm. you know, it kind of, it gets me a little bit insecure, I guess, but I don't know if it's me or I don't know what's his deal. Well, obviously, it, obviously, it's not you if he has to fake with other people, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey. He was forthcoming to tell her that, though, because most um, guys would be embarrassed. We're really good friends. I mean, I've only known this guy for three months, and we've become really close friends. And yeah. he says I'm the first girl that he's opened up um, about, you know, his problem, I guess. Smart. Uh, he smart. doesn't think it's a problem. He doesn't think it's a problem. Is he on medication? Yeah. Tell that to his balls, by the way, who are uh, mad as hell. <laughs> not going to take it anymore. Is he on medication? We were talking about this last night, and he <laughs> said... It's just, I can go for a really long time. And I said, is it that you can go for a really long time, or can you even go at all? Ooh. Is he on medication? I uh, know he's not. Mm-hmm. And uh, other, not other, okay. other, ooh. 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 other means he can uh, achieve this, by other than intercourse? Um, no, I, I mean, Good question. He's, the first time I had him oral, oral sex, um, mm -hmm. he actually told me, you know, the only way I can get off is with sex. Oral doesn't get me off. Uh, and oh, I was nah, like, what? I couldn't hang. <laughs> we got nothing to yeah, talk I've, about me and this character. Nothing. I've never heard that one. Um, He's dead to me. I haven't heard that either. And, no, you're not gonna. And I feel that I work it pretty <laughs> well. I mean, you're just not. Well, you know? And it surprises no one's gonna me say that. when he says, this is the time we're having sex. It's, uh, it's, a, it's yeah. an orgasm for him, but he can't yeah. go. He can't go. He can't come. Uh, well, right. there, are some, there are some guys that are wired that way. That's just the way it is. There are. And, and he needs to kind of pay attention and figure it out a little bit. He needs to put well, a hand he's in. He's in denial? Let's go. He's got to break, break it down. He's got to get a hand in. <laughs> that helmet's not a chair, gentlemen. <laughs> and when I say gentlemen, I use that term loosely. <laughs> okay, ladies, come on now. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Uh, we have all right, all right. It's not about, Laura, it's quiet, not about you. Quiet come down. On. Quiet okay. down. Relax. Now, how old uh, is he? He is 19. He's 19. Mm -hmm. So let me say this. And Drew, mm -hmm. who's a man of exquisite passion, ladies should know that about Drew. I don't, I don't know if I've ever mentioned that on the air, but he's a man who's bursting at the seams with passion. Mm-hmm. Now, ah, yes. It caught, caught Lisa's attention now. Now <laughs> she's listening. Uh, a, a, Drew, uh, a man of Drew's exquisite passion could not understand something like this. No. Um, I, who do not have the same passion level... That yes. Drew has. Right. For for anything, really, quite honestly. <laughs> Except Ambien and red wine. I like red wine, yeah. I like my pills. I'll be crashing yeah. into your place later tonight, at least. But except for that. Okay. The engine is barely on. Except for that. Right. Yeah. Right. Understand that, uh, you know, man can go... A guy at 19, especially if he's a little bit of a squirrely or a little bit late bloomer, may not have it worked out just yet. Yeah, yeah. He can, he can, yeah. Get, he can hit his well, rhythm. that's the point. He's, and that's what he's got to do. He's yeah. got to work it in and he, work he, it out. He's, the fact that he's even making it an issue for Laura is like, hey, hey, come on. Yeah. Get your act together. <laughs> yeah. Laura, here's what you need to do. I, I'm telling you this is going to help. You need to figure out if he beats off, and if he does, what position is he in when he beats off, because that's going to be his prime position. There you go. Lisa's nodding feverishly. <laughs> 
She's a, also a woman of extreme passion. <laughs> you two could have passionate kids. Passionate <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. All right. Find that out. Tell him to get on it. And don't make it a, such a big issue about he's not doing this. I can't do that for him. Just enjoy your, yeah, your relax. Enjoy your intimacy. Not about Laura See, at all. Not about you. Not your prom. Have have your intimacy, have your relationship, and see where it goes. Go. And by the way, use protection because he will figure it out, and you'll get pregnant first time around. Yeah, thank you. There you go. She's calling from Van Nuys. It means. Uh, by the way, morning after pill shot down for over the counter. All right, all right. Oh we're, my we're, god, we're taking oh a break. We're taking a break. Well, when we come back, I'm coming back with an ass full of steam for all this because right. right. I do have passion for this. Yeah, I know. Me too. All right, Lisa Durgan is here tonight. She's got the, the bench warmer uh, trading cards. No gum, everybody. But if you get these early ones, they're going to be collector's editions because the new ones will, will have the gum. You see? Gotta All right. Get on it. Take a quick break. We'll be right back. If you need help, hang up and then dive, dive. Love Line. 1 800 Love 191. Love Line will be right back. Hey, everybody, it's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Lisa Durgan is here tonight. She's uh, a uh, sportscaster on uh, Fox Sports West. Net. Oh, Net. Uh, didn't I screw that up last time? <laughs> well, everybody always does that. They say Fox Sports Net, well, Fox can, Sports West, can, Fox Sports 2. I'll just I mean, say Fox Sports. You, you can find her on Best Damn uh, Sports Show, uh, period. Yeah. Have you both been on? I did Tom's uh, wedding. You did Tom? I, no, no, I didn't do Tom. I did. <laughs> I did his uh, wedding Arnold. roast, his uh, bachelor party thing. Right. Yeah, that was the only time I did that show. Uh, I've been on. Oh, that's great. Maybe three times. The show's been going good and going strong. Going and I remember strong. when it, it. I would love to show actually. I think it'd be fun just to sit around. I don't have. What do they talk about? Uh, with with one somebody like us, politics. But I mean, with somebody like us, what would they talk with me about? You know what I mean? I don't know. But what that's they talk so great. Everybody use, that guess. comes on our show, it's not just. You know, sports. Yeah. It's entertainment. It's. I happen to know a fair amount about sports. I know, I know. Thank you. But we don't even care if you do. We'll you find know, something. I that, did something for yeah. them. You did it too. Some sort of 50th anniversary thing or some. I can't remember what, the, what it was, but they asked lots of questions about sports things you remember. Hmm. Oh, sort of, yeah. That was for another show, I think. But it was at Fox, right? Yeah. I did that and I realized I don't know anything other than what happened between about 1972 and 1980. Now, why well, is that? Because he's an idiot. Those are my sports fan years or something yeah. I, I don't know it's like I, I i knew a ton about that interval and then i know a little bit about the last four years well Drew is a, a man of passion uh and a doctor so he was spending a lot of time uh focusing on uh his doctoring my passion well, he'll get pursuits. into it passionate a lot pursuits. more again because of his kids that's yes, exactly kids right. will get him exactly, in. That's exactly why I'm back into it. That's right. Yeah. But then he sends him off to the camp, so Th he's not. No, the golf is not for me. <laughs> Golfing is not for me. Okay. Well, Period. now you guys can't hang. So that makes two of us. <laughs> I'll still be crashing at your pen. <laughs> in your pen. Uh, you can go to www.benchwarmer.com, and I think get a free uh, set of these cards. Or so I hear. Uh, we got stuff to talk about, Drew. One is the uh, May birthdays uh, list that was uh, posted uh, all over the station. It's nice. And by the way, this uh, it's one of these things that didn't exist. I don't know if it exists in other fields. Before I got into television and before I got into radio, uh, no one gave a rat's ass about your birthday. As a matter of fact, it was sort of, eh, it was a pain in the ass right. when it was your birthday. Because in then offices like, and what do you do? We got to get him something? Yeah, what yeah. are we going to do? Uh, my birthday's in this uh, this month, by the way. And yet I see 29 names there. Right. Yours must be at the top. Now, my birthday is on May 27th. <laughs> <laughs> now, you see my name there under the 27th of May? No. No? What name Happy is that? Birthday, you're not special. <laughs> my young Jew, Yoon. Yeah, there's a mm -hmm. crazy Korean person that's, uh, or maybe Chinese, what the, what would that be? Korean. Yeah, Korean. Yeah. There's a crazy Korean woman who's getting married, has a, the uh, temerity to be born on the same day as I, who also works at uh, this uh, radio station. But there's really, it, it's, a, it's, a big, it's a big laminated thing. It says May birthday. It's got a picture of uh, cards and candles and cakes and presents. There's uh, 25 names on it. And uh, this man didn't make the cut this year. There you go. What are you uh, doing? I got, You're a pretty uh, popular guy. You know? Young, June. Yeah, I'm sure June when Kim over, there. they put you up. Stick your name up. As a matter of fact, uh, I gotta look into that. 
All right. Uh, Lisa Durgan here. What else, Drew? Oh, you were going to complain about... Ugh, morning I, I, after pill. I, I really, I've been looking at this for, for a week. The only reason I brought it in is because I just I like the uh, crazy novelty name that's <laughs> uh, where my name should be. <laughs> M-Y-U-N-G-J-O-O-N. That's... Uh, that's good times. Yeah, that's where the round eye should have been, right there. <laughs> All right. So the uh, the uh, director of the FDA decided on his own to disregard the uh, unanimous uh, Clinical. direction of his advisors, which was to put the morning after pill over the counter, which is this pill, just the birth control pill, but you take after intercourse instead of before. Mm-hmm. And it works by preventing ovulation, just the way the pill works normally. Yeah. Right. But because it's after intercourse, people have this sort of magical belief that it must be an abortion pill, which it is not. Right. In fact, it could eliminate abortion in this country. Right. And it, in throughout the world, somewhere around 40 to 60 million users prescribed prescriptions have been issued, not a single adverse event in the history of its use. Well, that means they're due. That means they're due. You can't say you that about aspirin. Saying? I see what you're saying. About aspirin, due Tylenol, to go. anything else. It is the one of the safest products out there. And so now they're taking it off. Well, it was supposed to go over the counter in the United States, like other civilized countries. Right. And essentially because of political issues, it was uh, yeah. shelved for a while, so to speak. Well, you know, Bush, he's a very uh, he's a strong faith man, and he talks to God a lot. And uh, I'm sure... I, he should talk directly to God about this one. Uh, Either because God will say, "Hey, get your act together." Well, l- 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 come on. Hey, here's the thing. I don't. I don't want the FDA making moral judgment calls. You pinheads just decide if something's safe or not, and then if it is, put it. Let us decide whether it's morally okay for us to I ingest it or you. not. Uh, if it's morally safe, I mean, if it's, Wait, if, it's, if, it's if, if it's egregious, if it's a, if it if it compels people to immorally egregious action. I'm all for keeping it off the shelves. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, one, I'm could, all for it. one could argue then that wouldn't be safe. I mean, right, if it, if it right. got people to kill, then right. even though it was safe for you, it might not be safe for your neighbor. Right. But th- this, I mean, have we, can we get to the bottom of this, you know, condoms make, uh, or birth control? I mean, here's what I'm saying. We are under the impression in this country that if you... Uh, educate kids about uh, sexuality, that's going to get them to go out and have sex. By the way, only topic that we apply that logic to. If we if to talk to drugs, drugs, you we start talking, you, you got to talk talking when they're four. Talk but with them. sex, if you talk, talk to them, to them. they're, they're, they're going to want to do it. Like, I, what? I, I know. Wait, I, which I, is it? This, right and this that's is, a good point. Why just sex? It's the only human behavior that if you talk about, you make people do? Go, girl! Oh, I'm so upset <laughs> about I, this. I am, I am too, and it, it, these pussy, Bible-thumping, right-wing Republicans, really. And, and look, I, I don't like the Democrats any better, but they, they, they screw this one up completely Everybody every on the time. outside. The, the 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 ends of the bell curve. All you extremists on either side of the aisle, please go away. Yourselves. Go away. Please kill yourself. Let the rest of us sort this out. The out there, but the far right know, and the far left should, should get it. Go you, away. Can't you guys just eat a goddamn let, bullet? Let the and rest of us effing <laughs> Let God, the rest of us please. work this life out a little bit. Please, uh, yes. There's 99 percent of us would like that. We're, we're right thinking, rational human beings who can make decisions, who don't subscribe to your bizarre voodoo religions. And, and by the way, are we about ideologies? Or about helping people? Which is it? Right. Decide. I, I, and be honest. Which is it? If it's ideology, great. Fine. Defend your GD ideology. Why is it such a taboo thing? Though? Well, here's what it is. It, the people that say they want that they're against abortion really aren't against abortion, per se, as much as they're against people having sex without consequences. They don't think that's morally right. And, uh, you know, I, I, I got to say that uh, I do believe nature will uh, step in eventually. I mean, uh, you know, when you start getting uh, the uh, line of guys 40, 40 deep in front of the glory hole at the... <laughs> At the uh, bathhouse, eventually something like AIDS comes uh, into the mix. Uh, nature's nature's like interesting that way. Yeah, it has a, has a way uh, has a way of sort of limiting activity that gets uh, too far out there. That's I just my personal that. sort of uh, atheist belief. Uh, but these guys don't like the idea that a 15 year old girl can have sex and not have consequences. So they they focus on the abortion issue, but it's really the part about people getting laid. And them not being able to control it, and it all most of it stems from them not getting laid in their high school days. And they say they're against abortion. Then someone comes out with a set of safe pills. Hey, everybody! Hey, great news, all you uh, anti-abortion people! Great news! I got this pill. It's going to cut way down, way down on abortions. Oh, uh, 
we're not. No, uh, no, that's we're, we'll vote against that. Yeah, we don't want that. No, you don't want that. But I thought you were against. No, Which no. is it? Which is it? Yeah, people Which that are barking it? about hypocrites. it have too much free time. <clears throat> oh, well, that's that goes well. Here's what you can do with without saying. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, get, no, from, I'm too fired up. Forget no. about those cards. <laughs> that's nonsense, Drew. We're talking about life or death over here. I'm just saying that. Possibly so bone. <laughs> I'm tossed. I'm crashing. <laughs> At her pad. That's Crash right. my bone into her pad later on in the evening, bro. <laughs> Lisa Durgan here, everybody. Fox Sports Net. Yeah. yeah. Don't forget that. Yeah. Bench warmer uh, trading cards. Yeah. Uh, I know. I'm just saying, listen, you FDA or just have something safe. Let, let, let people hey, they get did. Their hands One on guy it. just said, I'm oh, sorry. Decide on my, on my own. And, and Drew, that is such a valid point. We've talked about it before. The idea that all we do is sit around and talk to your kids about it. Talk to them about drugs. Educate such your kids. Talk about cigarettes. Secondhand smoke. Cigarettes. Tell them about cigarettes. 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 Tell them about cigarettes. Tell them about drugs. Tell them about cigarettes. Tell them about drugs. Tell them about cigarettes. What about sex? No. Oh. Don't. They'll start don't, having don't, Immediately. Immediately. Yeah. Is there any other behavior no, that you can refer that no, to? That logic it, is totally no. flawed. And, now, and, there is, here's the reality. The uh, reality is you can traumatize a kid by giving them too much information about sex before they're ready. So, please, by all means... Be sensitive to what the kid needs and what they're questioning, what they you know what they can handle. Yeah, and, but but don't don't assume that by discussing it you're going to encourage it. Well, I know a lot and, of people wouldn't know how to begin to discuss it with a three year old, five year old. There's a million books. You out do that, that thing with your stuff, finger but. where you make the, you make the circle with your <laughs> one okay, hand sorry. and you poke your index finger through the other one. Yeah. Oh, I well, my kids tonight they uh, had to learn the anatomy of the penis and the vagina. Where? For their science class. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. Yeah. What and for the first time, my daughter didn't, wouldn't do it. She's usually Good like, girl. Hey, let's go. Like, now the boys were totally cracking up. And what grade is this? Fifth grade. But they called the Pepe Ooh. and the Hoo Ha, right? Now they're getting the vast deferens, the prostate. They, they called the, the penis and the vagina? And they went, yeah, yeah. All, all, the, all, the, all the parts. Vagina. Wow. Vulva, labia. All the stuff. What, what, what's the second one? <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the penis. The, the, like, they were, uh, yeah, so whatever. They were like, fine. Oh, man. You learned yeah. something new tonight. Look, but I, I mean, like, like we got into this controversy 10 years ago with the condoms. Like, oh, if the kids get hold of a condom, it's going to make them go out. No, no. Take and it's the same with birth control. And it's the same with the morning after pill. Please, all you uh, hypocrite, a-hole, right-wingers. You want to stop abortion? Here, This can put a dent in it. Obviously, you're not, it potentially. obviously, you're not interested in it. You're more interested in preaching. All right. Just admit that. Don't say there's you're so a lot of that abortion. in this country. There's a lot of just people. Preach. People get involved in ideas of humans right. rather than the facts of oh, humans. You just put a bullet in your head, you tards, and let us. <laughs> and 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 I and I agree with Drew on the far left, the far right, the far extremes, yeah. whoever you are. Just eat a goddamn bullet so we could so sensible people could get on with their lives without you guys effing everything up. Jesus Christ! It's like it's 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 like you're you're if you're right thinking, sensible, rational atheist, you're punished by all the tards you're surrounded by in this goddamn society. Here, here. It's like, oh, do, should we be punished for just being sort of level-headed, sensible, rational about the topics? I don't have any kids. I don't have any vested interests in this goddamn pill. I just, as a level-headed, intelligent person, I can see that this would make would make a difference. Why do we have to mean. be? Punished by one percent of the idiots. The, we'll be what, right the, back. The, the, oh, the you just demonistic said, form just of life. Just eat a bullet. Would you Take guys kill yourselves? Go see your Take God. Put a bullet in your head and go meet your goddamn maker. Leave us alone. Please. You got a God. It's paved. The streets are paved with gold. Put a bullet in your head. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You retards. Yeah. They know he don't exist. You know he ain't there. That's why you ain't going to do it. Mm -hmm. You know it. You know. We didn't take any calls this Who segment. Who cares? You're scared morning after pill call. All, All right. right, we're taking a break. Don't worry. I'll tell you when the guest is scared. <laughs> She'll be scared later when I crash into her house. Oh gosh. All right, we'll be back. Loveline. Loveline will be right back. So get your problems ready. 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 True. Yeah. What are women most attracted to? Confident guys. That's right. You can't buy that confidence. At least you couldn't until now. What do we got? You got Axe deodorant body spray. <laughs> hey, everybody. Got to apologize for Lisa Durgan's outburst last break. She's obviously <laughs> passionate about this morning after pill and the FDA. Oh. You, 
You go to www.benchwarmer.com, by the way. You get uh, you get a nice, uh, nice. Uh, well, you get the bench warmer cards here. We'll, we'll give you a free pack, yes? Yes. And you mm-hmm. get the collector pack, which is the one uh, minus the gum. Minus the gum. That's right. All right, let's get to the phone, Strew. Good, Adam. Come on, buddy. Break it down. <clears throat> Jenny. Jenny, you're 20. Yes, I am. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm about six weeks pregnant, and I did take the morning after pill within, I think it was less than 24 hours that I took it. And um, It's I'm not 100%. Sick. It's not 100%. So how, how does it work, and what are what are the effects of it? I mean, how, do, how does it guarantee it, it, I guess? It doesn't guarantee anything. Uh-huh. It works by suppressing an egg from being released from your ovary. If the egg had already been released, you're going to get pregnant. Very okay. simple. Now then, my next question is, what are the effects on the baby if I decide Zero. to have the baby? Zero. Absolutely nothing. Okay, my other question is... But they is don't expect great things anyway, though. I mean, I... Oh. Well, no, I'm just saying you don't want to... You're playing you, the odds? Well, I'm playing the odds. I'm also saying that, it, you know, going with low ex- expectations, and the kid graduates from college, surprised. it's yeah. a nice, pleasant there surprise. Okay. I have well, a question for her before yeah. she goes to the next one. What, what were the effects of taking it? Because even just... The pill makes me nauseous. I couldn't imagine the morning after pill. That's got to be like a big horse pill or something. I don't know. No, it isn't. It actually, has, rec- it, take the, it rectally. So. The, uh, <laughs> plan, plan B oh, yeah. uh, has progesterone. It doesn't have estrogen, so it doesn't make you sick. At all? Not yeah. typically. But you, you take like the, three, right? The Preven can make you sick, which has estrogen. Mm-hmm. Hey, Jenny? Yes? Is the, is the dad around? Yeah, kind of. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Kind no, of. No, he doesn't. No, he's not happy about it. Ugh. All right. But I did have another question, though. How about adoption? No, I wouldn't consider adoption. All yeah, right. How dare you, Adam? Yeah. Rather <laughs> screw the kid up yourself. <laughs> yeah. What's your other question? Okay. Um, what about the abortion pill? I think it's the are you... Uh, 46. Sure exactly That's a totally it. different thing. That is an abortion pill. Well, no, I, and I'm asking, if I decide to do that, my doctor told me I had until the 18th to, to still do that. Right. But what are the risks with that? And um, I heard that it's also still not 100% that you might still have to go in for the procedure. That's true. Is but it's fairly any- effective. It's fairly effective. And bleeding is the most significant com- complication. You know the thing? I, I know I'm the uh, 200th person to bring this up uh, today. But I find it incredible that the RU486 is, uh, to me, you know, 86 means you're out of there. <laughs> uh, we'd always say in, in construction, a guy got fired, to get 86. I don't know where 86 comes from, but 86 is a fairly well-known what meaning uh, you're gone. It was a food term when I was a waitress. 86? Yeah, means 86 what, left? the mustard, yeah. Oh, get, get rid, rid of the of mustard. Get yeah. Rid of, yeah, 86 doesn't even just mean like you're fired or you have to leave. It means it's gone. <laughs> and the idea of this thing calling RU486 being an abortion pill just sounds like, like, that sounds like an abortion clinic's doctor's uh, you know vanity Comedy. play. Yeah. It's right. like, it's, Really, like, I, I don't know. As long as you're just picking random things and stuff, doesn't anyone want to pipe up and go, uh, let's just make it RP for it? It was a French, get, it was a French product. Though. All right, but, like, let, let's, let's make it three. Let's get rid of four. It'd be et vous, 46. Et vous? Yeah. That, that's the same when you were uh, waitressing, right? Yeah. Yeah, 80. Where'd you waitress? San Diego. Really? Nice. I was really good at it, too. Oh, really? Why? I would stack everything up my arm. Oh, really? Do that thing with the plate where you hold three plates? More than three. Oh, more than three? Yeah. That's a lot because you can. Re- you only do it on, you do the one over the hand and then one in the middle and then one as it gets to the crease of the <laughs> elbow, right? Well, they were smaller plates. Oh, I, I think see. everyone should be... In food service? In the, yeah, at one point in their high school or college years. Yeah. Because, man... It's tough? You just had to deal with a lot of different types of people. Yeah, well, you had a bunch of guys trying to pick you up all the time, Well, right? the tips were good, yeah. The yeah, tips are good. But then you had people who were paying the ass and yelling at you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and... Not really. Everyone no, should have to be a doctor, good. too, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really deal with people. A lot of people not sure, I'm not sure how the patients would feel about that. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's keep uh, a rock in here and talk to uh, Levi. Yeah. You're 20? Yeah, that's right. What's up? Um, actually, I had a question for Drew. Um, me and my girlfriend had uh, actually had sex in the hot tub on Friday night, and I was just wondering what kind of uh, what kind of health things were involved with that. Any kind of risks? Pregnancy. Pregnancy, yeah. But uh, she's That's on birth it. control, and uh, nothing nothing went inside. She's fine. So. Sometimes well, you get a little diatomaceous earth up sometimes there. Sometimes women can get a vaginitis from <laughs> yeah. that, but that's really it. Okay. And there there are, there are certain fungus, skin infections, and things. But that's anybody in a hot tub. So yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Cool. All well, right. thank you. All right. Good There's times. There's bacteria, pseudomonas. The, the, uh, the real problem is uh, the poor sap that's got to climb in there the next day <laughs> with your nice uh, jizz slick floating around in there. Honey, what happened? I don't know. Must uh, Seagull must have crapped in here. That is just yeah. a, an image that will stay with me. And, and let, me, let me tell you something about uh, semen in the hot tub. Please it, tell us. I've <laughs> yeah, not heard I'm enough. I'm sure yet. you know. I've not heard enough. Well, it's like it's like a it's like a, a sea mine in that in that it's it's magnetized. I mean, when, <laughs> when a freighter starts steaming by, it starts moving toward whatever's in the water. It doesn't just randomly bob around like a like a rubber ducky. It will find you. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a parasite. It's like a tick. You know what I mean? It's it it feels your heat and starts coming after you. So you go into that you go into that body water. It, it will come find you. And if you got a little hair on I your body, say, with, too, your, it's not, uh, with your with uh, your Sherwood Forest, it's there. not it's oh. not it's not going to come oh. out. It's in oh. there. It's still Thought. God knows what I got yeah. on me. God knows. God knows yeah. the tubs I've been in, the action I've seen. A guy could be wearing the semen of a thousand men around my waist. <laughs> Maybe more. Maybe more. All right. Lisa Durgan here tonight. I'll be crashing into her path <laughs> later on tonight after we uh, after we do our ambient and we're going to do some Jägermeister out in the parking lot. <laughs> oh. All right. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Here's the deal. Looking to hook up? Call the Dateline. Sick of wasting time with the wrong person? Call the Dateline. One call is all you need to make. Call the Dateline. 1-877-889-DATE. You know what I'm saying out there? Adam and Dr. Drew will be right back. Loveline, I'm Adam, that's Dr. Drew, phone number 1-800-L-O-V-E-191. Lisa Durgan is uh, here tonight. She's uh, Stuff Magazine's sexiest sportscaster. You can also find her on uh, the Best Damn Sports Show, period. And uh, you can find her on these uh, cards. It's really, it's a sweep in the nation, by the way, these uh, bench warmer trading cards, Drew. Surprise your kids aren't into these things yet. Well, they will be. I just saw what Chris was doing with them. Yeah, yeah. Chris has a stack over there. Yeah. But well, they're not stacked. They're sort of arranged in a very frightening little uh, special arrangement. Yeah. Remember those uh, bad uh, detective movies from the 70s when they would finally break into the guy's one-bedroom apartment <laughs> yes, and they yeah. have pictures, pictures of the girl yes. cut out? Yeah. The eyes were always were always cut out yeah, or darkened yeah. or in something or weird, something. something weird. Yeah, Chris going to do something real weird to those cars. That yeah. scares Most me. He's going to make a though. very, yeah, he's going to make a very, he's going to make a collage. With a spin arts. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Except for, no, he's going to, he's going to make a, a, a very ghoulish collage out of those <laughs> things. But uh, he'll not be using paste to stick them to the construction oh, paper. Oh, He'll be using crazy glue. Good I like, this, I like the spin art. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> spin art, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> and then you look at it with a black light. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's wait hard. a minute. This is, <laughs> this, this, this will sweep the nation. This now. is going to sweep the nation. <laughs> <laughs> now, now for those, do they still have spin art? Of course not. You got to explain what it is. Spin art <laughs> is uh, now again. The Corollas <laughs> never went in for this Don't stuff worry, the because it would have been a dollar, dollar fifty at the time. For that's crazy expensive. Yeah. You take uh, essentially take a <laughs> potter's wheel. This is a. Do I have to explain what a potter's it's a, wheel it's is? It spins real fast. You know what a potter's wheel yeah, is? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, something you make ashtrays out of clay on. You uh take that. <laughs> you uh you take a little uh you take a little card. Yeah. It's like a little six by six card or three by six From card. Cardboard, you yeah. stick it down to this thing and it spins. And then for Buck at the carnival, you take a little uh, little mustard and ketchup squirting container, except for that paint in it, and you squirt it on it while it's spinning around. And then when it stops, it turns out it made some funky kind of cool orbital design. Sort of, sort of a, yeah, sort of modern art What spinning. would you do with it? You'd put up in your room and say, I made that. Yeah. Okay. I've That's, never heard of this. Never heard of it. No. She was playing, playing golf. You're on the you're on the links. Yeah, you're on the links. No, yeah. I never, never went to a fair and saw that spin She's art. Too young for that. I never saw spin art, but Adam, I used Adam. to go to the Del Mar Fair. Around. And yeah. Well, they, I bet if you go to the fair tomorrow, they'll have that spin art I stuff. Think so. They didn't get rid. Yeah, that's still around. I'm anyway, missing out. Point is, is if we could replace the paint with semen, 
<laughs> and a blank card with one of these bench warming cars <laughs> or your favorite model. And then you display it with the black light. <laughs> now you got something. <laughs> Chris. Yeah. All right, buddy. I went to uh, bring the black light and the, uh, and the card in tomorrow, okay? All right. And it made that crazy noise. <laughs> Would you put the <laughs> just a potter's wheel? Yeah, like, just whizzing around. The yeah. Now the good thing it. is there is a shroud that goes around. Well, it looks it, like a so cotton that, candy machine. Really, yeah. Look like it's got the high plastic yeah. sort of bowl that the right. things inside of, so the paint doesn't go flying around well, and get all over your slats. Yes, the paint. The paint. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna replace that, and then we look at it with the woods light. <laughs> it's gonna be great. True. Seriously, <laughs> this could really be just hey, look. I it, thought of it. Yeah, this yeah, is Drew's, right. this is his statement. Branch out, yeah. He, there's uh, Jesus in urine. Drew's got uh, jizz on the spin art. It's going to be great. Uh, yeah. John? I'll be proud of that always. Yeah, how's it going, guys? You're 19? Yeah, I am. What's All up? Right. Uh, well, I wanted to say that I called in uh, less than a week ago. I was the guy who was drinking a 12-pack a day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just want to say that I cut down to about a 6-pack a day now. Fantastic. Have you heard of spin art? I have. I actually had one. Yeah. I now bought see, one that was from 19. Nickelodeon. He's, he's, thing nine, he's 19 years of age now. See, it's not an age thing. But is it only at the fair where this happened? It's at, like, piers. Fairs on the pier, would you say? And anywhere there's milk bottles to be knocked over with <laughs> <Yeah>. softballs, <laughs> right. there's spin art. Or the headband. And, Go yeah. ahead, John. So, right, John, well, uh, what I wanted to say is um, I had a panic attack today. Yeah. I Ooh. was, I, I remember I Dr. Drew said... Go ahead. Have you? Well, you're having alcohol withdrawal is the problem. And you, you need to, John, you need to get this medically managed. If you're starting to have panic and anxiety and tremulousness, this this is your brain withdrawing from the alcohol. And it'll get quite costly. How's that? Uh, <laughs> always buying the oh, booze every booze. day. Well, oh, yeah. but he's alcoholic. And, and the, it, it, going from six to zero is going to be actually kind of dangerous. Really? Yeah. Oh, from six to zero. Now, going from a 12-pack a day to a six-pack a day, not bad? You not just dangerous? get some symptoms. Yeah, like he's getting panic and anxiety. But, but now, now you're talking about cold turkey. Now you're taking it all the way down. And people don't taper down from the drug of choice. They just don't do it. It just never works. So like what do you suggest he does? You need to go, you need to get treated, John. You need to be seen by somebody who's addiction medicine certified and or a psychiatrist. And there, there are medicines that can give you to prevent. Uh, listen, sixty percent of delirium DTs ends up in fatality. Really, alcohol withdrawal is the only drug withdrawal that is commonly fatal. What? What? Oh my gosh! Yeah. What happens? They get they get a collapse of the autonomic function of the nervous system. Their pulse mm -hmm. goes out of control. Their respirations become dysfunctional. They get pneumonias and they they die. Really? That's, yeah. You, usually, true DTs only emerges though when there's a second medical problem. Again, like an infection, pneumonia, heart attack. That kind true of thing. DTs or true deaths from DTs. True DTs usually, occur, you know, which, which is this this uncontrolled outflow from the central nervous system, which results in a cardiovascular collapse. Mm -hmm. Usually, is with a second medical problem. But you can get the DTs and not die, right? You can, but people just think of tremors and vomiting as DTs. That's just tremors and vomiting. Oh. DTs is this is fever and high pulse rate and low blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So is he going to have to eventually have nothing? He can't just be the occasional no, pay a glass of wine he's at an a alcoholic. I know that's hard for Lisa to get her hands on. It's tough for her. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, he's glass that's too bad. I really like a glass of wine. He's with an yeah, alcoholic. Me too. Me too. Well, I'll be crashing at your pet tonight. <laughs> I'll be bringing that glass of wine. You are so not even going to know where I live. Oh, oh believe me, I can, <laughs> yes. I can follow yeah. you. And I'm like an Indian. I'll put my head to the ground. I can yeah. find a hot he chick. I'll drive really fast. Inspector Clouseau here. Yeah, I put my head down. Mm, many blondes travel many more this way. Mm, <laughs> Nana uh, Jay. Nana hey ha. Yeah, hey! Nana hey, Jay! And then I, and I, I, I do that thing where I hold my hand up, and there's a bunch of guys behind me in the cars, and they stop. <laughs> And I consult, oh, you know what really I mean? Work here in and LA. I reach down and I, and you know, I pick up like a uh, discarded Kleenex on the side of the road and I sniff it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. She traveled towards Sun and Miata. <laughs> <laughs> you pay much wampum for for squaw like this. And then we just keep going. Wait, we'll find you. We'll crash right in your house. We? Right. Oui. Me, my my posse. Your posse. My Indian posse. Oh, I see. All right. Where are we, Drew? We're talking to Michelle. Mm. Well, Lisa was saying she gets uh, panic attacks on occasion. I did. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I think I had a panic attack. Mm hmm I had shortness of breath. Mm hmm mm hmm uh, I've always got 
20 things going on, mm-hmm. and I just felt a little anxiety going on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're one of those overachiever uh, chicks, yeah? yeah? I guess yeah. so. Mm-hmm. You're like a pusher. You're going. I'm going. Yeah. And then and, and you're, also, you're also one of these people that... Uh, needs to be uh, perceived a certain way and i don't mean that in a bad way but you you're you yeah you, you're together you smell good you look good there's a pressure to being you you gotta keep it together a lot you're a pleaser i didn't think of it like that oh <laughs> yeah. it's i think we speak of you need to be perfect yeah you need to be perfect nobody's perfect i, I know but yeah but you but try you need to be yeah you gotta try yeah you put too much pressure on yourself to try. Well, no, you don't need to say too much. You're putting, you're putting. Actually, rejo- you know, you're sort of passing judgment when you say too much. Well, you put a lot of pressure if you try to be perfect. That's well, right. Well, who we? I'm not talking I don't to a third to grader here, Drew. I'm talking to an adult woman. <laughs> Yeah, listen, uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, I know when people what you get got. defensive when you say, "All right, you're don't too get, this, you're don't too that." Don't get defensive. I wish more women were like you, but I, I know, I know your makeup. You are a pleaser in the sense that you don't want people to perceive you as anywhere other than well put together and well uh, spoken and and perfect for lack of a better term and it's a lot of pressure see what i'm saying well the alternative is not what yeah see what she's going to take from that is well who wouldn't want to be that perceived that way is what he's saying uh, yeah but i don't agree with what you're saying i'm not trying to be perfect not better than well it's not better than it's not being better it than it's it being i put i put a yeah, I'm a high achiever. Yeah, it's, it's usually feeling less right. than the well, people. Well, hold on, I want to get be right stuck on semantics right. here. See what I'm saying? Right. Actually, so she, we're getting through here. Thank right. you. Yeah. Well, you are. Yeah. Well, here's my point. And first off, striving to be perfect not a bad thing. It just puts a lot of pressure on. Yeah. You. That's where you can have a panic attack. Right. That's all I'm saying. That's true. Okay, so that's what that was. It was yeah. in the middle of the day. Well, it ends up being a lot of work being you if you think about it. I didn't mean that in a horrible way either, but I just mean once you, 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 you look this way and you present this way and people are used to seeing you, then it's like you can't have a bad day. You can't be in a bad mood. Oh, I have bad days. You, you can. I, you just can't do it in front of other people. You know I what I'm could. saying? Yeah. I think it, it's funny because the panic attack happened when, you know, everything's right. So I don't know uh-huh. why I had a panic attack. Yeah, why, Drew? Unless it, that's not what it was, but I think it was. Panic can occur. It's real hard to predict when a panic can occur. And they're usually out of the blue, and they're not necessarily in times when you're feeling blue or bad yeah. or anxious. They can just pow, occur. Yeah. I'm never really blue. I see. I'm a peppy there, girl. That's what we're talking about. Give yourself, uh, <laughs> give yourself the freedom to be a little blue every <laughs> once in a while. Have a, have a, take a me day. Put on some sweatpants. Yeah, I mean, oh, that's me. One, one of the things, one of the things that can happen if if you tend to be perfectionistic is that you can get so invested in Drew's that. that way too. I'm very much that way. You get so much invested in that part of yourself that your genuine needs get sort of not paid attention to so much, and that can lead to panic too. That's yeah. you get, true. You get depleted. That's what happened to Drew. And so you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, you put too, too much pressure. Mm-hmm. All right. But you're not aware of it because you're just busy. You're just moving along. You're just moving along. So moving I along. should just try the Adam way. Yeah. Go. Yeah. The opposite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, Adam listened to spin art, and he listened to spin art. <laughs> <laughs> and he's in jacuzzis by himself watching things float around. Mm-hmm. Well, they're coming to me, though. Remember that. <laughs> Michelle? Yeah? You're 18? Yes. What's up? Um, I have a question. I'm trying to get on the pill, and the doctor told me that when... I, th- when I started my period next cycle to start taking the pill this Sunday after I started it, yeah. um, I just ended my period about last Saturday, yeah. but I got it again this weekend. Um, I took the emergency contraceptive, which the morning after the morning after pill a week ago. Yes, so that will screw your period all up. Oh, yes? Yeah? Yes. Just get on the pill. Don't worry about it. Just get going. So, that that so business of... Starting the Sunday after your period and all that stuff, that's sort of an old-fashioned way of doing it. Just get going. Start taking the pills. Get going. Right, get going. Stop, get, stop need... talking when Drew's talking. Please just let him tell you what the, he's going to say. There's a growing sort of consensus so, so that it, people should start so the pill when you right put it in their hands. So that, go. Okay. Start the <laughs> that, pill. <laughs> yeah, your your <laughs> periods are all screwed up because of the morning after pill. Don't worry about that. Okay. All right. Just give it that's time. It'll regulate, yeah. right? Glad, yes, glad you're uh, paying attention. All right, baby doll. There we go. Take that pill. Okay. All righty. 
It's a weird impulse to not let people finish their sentence. I keep thinking it's the phone or the something. Yeah, that's a little of that. But it's also a little nerves. People either don't talk yeah, or they talk nervous. too fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was nervous. That's all right. That's all right. You're not going to have a panic attack. Are you? <laughs> no. You're feeling good, right? No, I'm feeling great. All right. Let's talk to uh, John, who's 20. John? How's it going? Good. Uh, I had a question for Dr. Drew. Yeah. Um, when I'm first with a girl, like, when we're having, you know, sex for the first time with a girl, like, I can go for a long time. Mm-hmm. But, like, as I get comfortable with a woman, it's it's just not long anymore. That's because yeah, you're not I, nervous. You're not nervous anymore. Yeah. So, but I mean, like, quick. Like, yeah. a minute. Mm-hmm. And then, I, so I was wondering if that had anything to do with, like, because I'm not circumcised. Nothing. No. Nothing. Just you. I, I mean... So there's nothing. nothing no, nothing. About nothing. It. Not, nothing. No. Well, yeah, something you can do about it. Yeah. You can you can masturbate before you have sex, that I've, kind of thing. I've heard yeah. that. Like, oh, I do a while having a sex. Time. I know you do. Yeah. But um, I've tried that. And that's while you're running away, away, while you're running away from the slick. That's right. Wait, what? You guys are yeah. married. Go ahead, John. Well, um, I've tried that because I, I listened to you guys for a long time, about three or four years ago. I've heard that, and I've tried that. That doesn't work. I've tried to. Pull the foreskin up during the day. I've heard that. Um, mm. No, heard the, that forget, forget. L- take your attention away from the circumcision. That has nothing to do with this. Yeah. Think about it. How could it be both? How could it cause you to be both prolonged initially and quick? Well, later? he's not asking about the prolonged part. He's asking about the quick part, and, but, and but, he's yeah. maybe extra sensitive, and that's what does no, it. No, that's nothing to do with it. Well, it no. could. Nothing to do with it. And so also, first off, Drew, who's always right between me and you? Why isn't he extra um, sensitive when he gets going with the, at the first place? Well, those nerves are factors. Well, All well, right, John. There's, there's not much I can do. Well, you can. St- here's what you can do. You can stop focusing on your foreskin right. 100%. Yes. Take the mind That's off that. Number one, because there's billions and billions of men who uh, aren't cut and who don't have this problem. Exactly. So that you can go ahead and rule out of the equation. The, the next part is you can stop fretting about everything. That's what's doing it. Yeah. yeah. You just find yourself a girl, get comfortable with her. Maybe go start, twice with her. Go thing. twice. Give her that oral sex. Uh, that's what's... That yeah, right, well, that's get what's, good at that. Believe me, you, well, the meter's running once you uh, get down there. You what? Take, well, I'm just saying, you, you take that two-minute session, you turn it into 22 minutes by going down on her for 20 minutes. Mm. See what I'm saying? It's like a cab. You, you hop in a cab. You, you think, oh, well, we're not driving anywhere. I'm just sitting in a cab. Oh, the meter's running. <laughs> yeah, the, the time, the, the sexual meter I'm is sure, running. I'm not sure Lisa's on board no, with this. No, Lisa's on board with this. <laughs> but I'm, here's what I'm saying. You got a guy that can only last two, three minutes. Okay, not a great thing. But if he goes down on you and does a nice job for 20 minutes, then you can look at it as a 20-minute-plus session basically, right. Right. as opposed to just a quick hit. And guy, guys don't do that. Guys want to add another minute and a half to the intercourse. We're saying, yeah, just get down there and do a, a fantastic job downstairs, and you, you will have a satisfied customer. Yes? I agree. You agree. You're a woman of passion, yes? You're here. Yes. That's right. Oh, you're getting that St. Polly girl outfit. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> true. They wear the skirt with the with like the later hose and yeah. skirt <laughs> on it. The frills big frilly yeah. thing. Oh man. And I the, have it at home. You do can you? you can wear I'm it. Crashing. If you like. I'll be crashing. <laughs> the knee high socks. Knee high socks. No, I didn't wear knee high socks. Oh, you didn't? It was just like a corset white corset yeah, white a corset red skirt Slow down yes <laughs> you only wear it when you do the photo shoot no you don't you wear it all the time watch i'm gonna close my eyes up yep there you are you're in it you never take it off it's like it becomes like a you know a gi joe's outfit or something that's just his outfit <laughs> what'd you wear for socks just shoes just little black heels no black heels yeah oh, that's right yeah, no, no. Maybe I'm it's thinking. It's an updated version. I maybe think of the Orangia Boom girl or whoever <laughs> that. Remember that beer, Drew? I've heard of Orangia Boom, the yeah. Dutch beer. Yeah, I think she may have had some knee socks. Anyway, we're going to implement knee socks into the outfit. Okay. Because it could work. It could be whatever you want it to All be. All right, that's right. Chris, you getting this? For your, for your spin <laughs> art collection and I. Yeah. So all right, <laughs> same poly girl. Oh, and a little puffy, uh, puffy shoulder things. With the, it did, did it have the elastic the on, on the shoulders? On the arm. On the, on the arms, right? And it was kind of off the shoulder. Oh, yes, yes. 
Yeah. Oh, that's the puffy thing you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. Go get the beer. German looking. Yeah. John? Yeah. You're 21? Yes, sir. Turn your radio down, please. Okay, sorry about that. All right. Is he a truck driver? What's he doing? What are you doing, John? I'm uh, truck driver. I'm on the road right now. Yeah. All right. Sounds like a nice, noisy piece of equipment he's driving. What is happening? Uh, 21? The other 20-year-olds drive trucks? I don't know. Uh, my girlfriend and I, when we have sex, uh, she, uh, she slipped up uh, a couple times and said uh, she wishes my penis was a little bit longer, and which I do, too. Uh, I was wondering... If there's a possibility, if there's something besides surgery that'll make my penis large, uh, longer without having to have surgery permanently. And All I'm right. wondering if smoking would actually help me. Sure. If I quit Smoke smoking, what? If, it'll, if, it'll, if, I, if I quit smoking, if it'll uh, help the link. No. All right. No. All right. No. It never hurts to quit smoking, yeah, but that's not going to do anything to your penis. Well, it helps the blood supply, so it might help yeah. the tumescence. He's, he's 21. Yeah, he's, all right. Yeah. You, just, you, got, you need like another 20 pack here yeah. before it starts well, making a dent right. on the dork. That's but true. here's the thing. Uh, weights. Oh, yeah. Weights will do something. We heard that from uh, Dr. Alter. Yes. How does that work? Well, stretching it out. You take a weight and you put it right on there, <laughs> and uh, eventually, you know, it starts heading down toward terra firma. Now I, I don't know I don't know what it does for your erection and also the uh, Dr. Alter who is in the unfortunately named Dr. Alter who was in here talking about who does the gender reassignment uh, was talking to us about weights in conjunction with the ligament snip. Fair, yeah, yeah. No, well I think Rip, they cut it right. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, it's not a football injury, <laughs> true. It's it's been crazy people to pay for. Uh, but they they snip the ligament down there. Then they essentially put the weight on it, and it, it starts to essentially pull it out. It's like taking a mailbox and pulling it out of the stick that's in the lawn with you know, just lifting it up a little bit. Uh, you can use some weights even without the cut. It's a stupid thing. But if you're going to be sitting in a truck for 14 hours a day, what's with the girlfriend? Uh, What's it? We don't know what he's in. It. I actually think that's kind of tacky of her to have said that because now he's got the issue about it. Oh, really? Good. What's good. <laughs> good. And you know Very what? He good. should throw something right back at her. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Tell her she's got hairy <laughs> nipples. <laughs> That'll freak her out. So smoking What's, will what? help me increase my weight. What is what? Smoking will. Oh, shut up. <laughs> that's BS. Yeah, of course, it's BS. He hung up on his ass. Smoking <laughs> will help him increase his length. Alan. Yeah, hi. You try to help a trucker get a few extra inches on the dork, and this is how he repays you? That's nice. I'm disgusted <laughs> at all he is. Alan? Yes. You're 23. You're a virgin? Yes. Um, I have a uh, whitehead on my penis. Um, I'm curious as to whether or not it'd be safe to have sex with my girlfriend. I, uh, uh, I popped it a bunch of times over the uh, say last two years. It just going back. back. I, I went and saw a doctor the other day. He didn't seem all that concerned about it. What is it? He's he calling it a whitehead. Yeah. What's that? Huh. And did he did he take What's it a out? whitehead? I'm sorry. It's a, like it's a recurrent pimple in the same spot. Yeah, pretty you mean much. Like a, it means like a pimple whitehead. What okay. do you mean? What do you mean pretty much? Is it exactly well, in the same spot? Well, yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's in the same spot, but it it wasn't there when I showed it to him. But I, I popped it last night while I was on the john in the john. Yeah. Where, where exactly do they occur? Um, you know the, uh, I'm circumcised, so, uh, you know the, uh, the, the brown ring? Yeah. Just it's, below that. So it's towards yeah. the tip. Yeah. It's ring, ring around the collar, we call the that. Tip. The tip. It's right at the head there. Tip? No, is not, that a, not the head, no. Where is it? Towards um, the base? I'm going I'm to say mid-shaft. 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 Yeah. Right, yeah. Hold, hold on a second. Do we have to get into the brown ring around the head discussion <laughs> if it's in the middle? It's like, uh, yeah, your car's dented. Uh, what part? Well, you know the front fender? Yeah. Well, this is the quarter pound. <laughs> <laughs> Just say the goddamn part. Yeah. You have to discuss all the other parts that it's not? If it's healed, Alan, you're oh, fine. Our call. I, 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 I don't can't understand these yeah, people. It's healed, right? It's healed now? Yes. Well, I don't know. Alan, um, uh, look, look. Okay, Alan, listen to me. You're 23. You're a virgin, right? Right. This is just the kind of talking that's made you a virgin all these years. You got a girl stupid enough to agree to have sex with you now, right? Yeah. All right. Then hey, shut up. I think it's great he called if I he's think concerned. It's, I think it's fantastic, too. Just be quiet and have sex, would you? <laughs>
Put the condom on. Okay. Okay. All right. I, 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 is there any dumber people on the planet than the people that call this show? Okay. I, I, Tonight. I would we found pit our, our callers against any other radio program, national or local, Tonight and their stupidity. Win. Tonight would win. They're confused by their own questions. <laughs> <laughs> Pop your zit and get to humping. <laughs> Would you screwball? You're 23. Let's go it's now. Doctor. Get a hand in. Break break it, Lisa, get a hand in. Break All it right. down now. Listen, gentlemen, that helmet is not a chair. <laughs> and I use that term. Uh, let's see. Whatever. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Loosely. <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> all right. We're got Lisa Durgan is here tonight. She's got herself some bench warmer uh, training cards. Trading cards. Chris going to do a little spin art on those uh, a little bit later <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Loveline. Loveline will be right back. So get your problems ready. 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 Here. Hey, everybody. It's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1 800 L O V E 191. Lisa Durgan is here tonight. She's the uh, babe from the uh, Fox Sports Net. Yeah. Also, uh, she can be found as a correspondent on the best damn sports show, period. And uh, then has these new uh, trading cards out. They're uh, called uh, Bench Warmers. And uh, it's www.benchwarmer.com. You get a free one, you go there. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to give Chris another pack over there for a spin out. There you go. It's great. He's so excited. It's yeah, great. he is. You know what's great about having um, Chris over here? Makes 10 bucks an hour. It's like, it's like, it's really, it's like working with a catfish. <laughs> it just, uh, some guy sends us some crappy junk. Here you go, buddy. There you go. Someone sent us some uh, Flash Frozen uh, White like, Castle burgers yeah. the other day and a t-shirt that says... Uh, you know, uh, Big Johnson uh, <laughs> pipe fitting equipment. The guy that's stupid. Hey, here you go, buddy. Uh, Is it more go. like a big lab or something? No, no, catfish. 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 It's just uh, whatever you don't. You know, whatever comes out of you. That uh, what your waste is his dinner. That's all I'm saying. And I don't mean that. I don't mean that in a bad way. Oh, it didn't come out that way at all. I'm just saying. No, here's the thing. You work at a radio station. You get a fair amount of junk sent to you. Yeah. I just don't have any more room for any more T-shirts uh, or uh, any more just uh, here. Try this. Try you know. Try you know, try this inflatable that or this novelty. This people send you stuff. They they're, they're well intentioned for the most part, but it's just so much junk that just ends up. It, you know what it ends up? It never gets out of your car. Yeah. Ends up sliding around the trunk of your car for You're six one of those months. That never and then, takes stuff out. And eventually, right? well, you don't want to take it out of the car because you have no place to put you, it. You don't want to bring it into the house because it's inflatable sheep. Don't even <laughs> bring it in your car then. Uh, that's what I'm talking about with the catfish <laughs> over here. <laughs> take the inflatable sheep and the flash frozen Hand White off. Castle burgers. Here you go, buddy. That's right, and that's a big day for you, right? It's nice. Did you eat those White Castle burgers? Not yet. They're frozen. They're in you your wait car. They're still in your no, car. No, no, no. You brought they're, them in. They're in the kitchen. Okay. Good. Is this White Castle like mm -hmm. not an on East Coast, Coast thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an East Coast thing. Yeah. I don't know about it. I'm That's from right. San Diego. Right. right. Well, I'm they in didn't New have... York at a party, and there was all these White Castle little mini burgers. Yeah. Right. And... White Castle and spin art, evidently, are the two things that did not make it <laughs> out to San Diego. Have... I'm sheltered. Maybe. They don't have In and Out. Yeah. Yeah. So. We've got that. There yeah, we got that. And uh, I would say we now now. Here's the thing about here. And here, here by the way, the thing about these regional foods because I, I work in an office filled with guys from everywhere but California who right. love to argue about nothing the yeah. entire day, and you always get in this, these arguments over who has the better burger and who's this and that. A lot of this stuff is just the one you enjoyed with your dad when you were nine. Right. It, it gets burned in just like some song that you think is great or some chick you think is hot just because it's from. That, uh, that, that, that initial sort of, impression. That initial impression, yes. I think when you just sort of break it down, though, I would say the In N Out Burger. Yeah, get a hand and break it down. I'd say, in an, I'd say the In N Out Burger probably superior to uh, most oh. burgers around the country. I don't and, understand and, how it could get better. And I didn't try it when I was nine. I didn't yeah. try it until I was in my I don't 20s. see how it get better. I like Thank the French you. fries. Yeah. Good fries, too. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, always feel like I'm getting chipped over there because I don't know the language. It's hard to make an order. Because some guy 
in front of you has ordered the uh, four yeah. by four manimal, yeah. and you just ordered the regular one, and you feel like he knows something you don't yeah. know, but right. I can't figure out what he knows. <laughs> All right, Lauren. Yeah. You're 18. Yeah. What's happening? Okay. Um, I just recently had um, my son. He's five months old. And um, congratulations, baby. Yeah, 18. Thank you. All right. <laughs> and um, after that, I've gotten birth control and mm-hmm. Hallelujah. for Vera. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The shot. And mm-hmm. I was wondering if it was any cause to not wanting to be intimate with my boyfriend. Not well, me. just having had a child can turn your libido down quite a bit, but I'll tell you what, that shot, the Depo Provera shot, will shut some, some women down completely. Mm-hmm. Okay, see, that's yeah. exactly how I feel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is that shot? What it's, is? It's progesterone, and it, it's a birth control shot. It's a three-month shot. You basically bleed continuously for the first three months, then mm. you lose yeah. your period after Didn't that. Can we agree not to use the term bleed? Have You slough? What did I say? <laughs> slough. Say slough. Uh, now, go ahead and start again. And uh, <laughs> Start again. <laughs> Lisa just did one of those. <laughs> Start from the top, Jerome. Yeah, the, 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 it's a progesterone, and so you get sloughing for three months. I'll just say you slough. You Let's try it again. Let's take it from the top. It's progesterone and, agent. Hold on. And action. Progesterone time. agent makes you slough for three months, and then you'd have no period after that. It's effective <laughs> for three months, and kids don't need to take it over and over again. They don't need to remember to take a pill, and so it's a very effective birth control. Mm-hmm. But it has a lot of side effects for some women, interestingly. They get depressed, get energy problems. And they lose their libido. They can is, really shut down. Is this boyfriend the same? Sound great well, not, but some women actually it enhances their libido. It's, it's that's the craziness about women is that for us as men anyway, it's, it's a, such a uh, tremendous spectrum of biological responses. It's a Everybody's roll different. of the vagina, as yeah. we like to say, yeah. of the business. ovaries, of the ovaries. Yeah, roll those ovaries. Hey, uh, Lauren. Yes. Uh, is this uh, boyfriend of yours, same guy who's the father of your child? Yes, yes, he yeah. Is. Yeah, it's quite it's it's very unusual. quaint. Yes. Yes. The whole five months he's hung out. <laughs> yeah. All right. What's he do? Um, he goes to school just like me, but um, I work, so I work mm-hmm. and go to school. Actually, I um, home study, so. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to go uh, way out on a limb here and go junior college. <laughs> How dare you? Yes? High school. All right. That high school? Yeah. You, you guys going to junior college or high school? No, I'm a, I'm a senior, actually. High school. High school. What about him? He's same with him. Oh, he's, you're both in high school? Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, listen. Forget about junior college. I know you're thinking about it now. <laughs> Don't worry about junior college. You worry about me and a mom. He should worry about uh, getting, getting some work. Yeah. Yeah? Now, here's what he can do. He can do some sort of vocational thing where he learns how to do underwater welding or something for <laughs> <Yeah>. eight months. <laughs> but then he gets busy right after that. Gets some sort of degree, some sort of certificate. And then, pow. This is, this is what everybody who isn't going to a regular college needs to do. They need to learn, like, com- computer. They, they, could, they could be an ambulance driver. They could learn uh, typewriter repair. Whatever. Whatever. Learn something. Takes about six months. And then, pow, start working. <laughs> and, by the way, you can do okay with this stuff. You learn how to weld. You get in a union gig, whatever. Next thing you know, you're getting 37 bucks an hour. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mike? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, um, this question is for Dr. Drew. Yeah. Uh, I was wondering, I've heard you talk about um, sex addicts before. Uh-huh. And uh, just like when I heard you talk about it, like, I'm really addicted to, um, like, phone sex and cyber sex and stuff like that. Uh-huh. I was wondering mm-hmm. if, there, like, if that was a, you know, like, a characteristic or, you know, a... Of addiction? Quality. Yeah, I mean, cyber, you know, the uh, whole idea of Internet... Mm. Porn addiction is uh, a growing area of expression of sexual addiction. There's really. Do you have any idea where that could come from? Or well, if sexual addiction in general, if if first of all you want to predict, you want to. Hold on. Have what? that diagnosis. You want to have a family history of alcohol. What seventeen-year-old right? isn't going to get? Yeah, addicted I, I know. That's to, right. Right. I know. Yeah. Do you have any addiction in your family? Alcoholism? Um, no. The the only thing that I could ever think of was, I mean, and probably not even a big deal. It's just like when I was like three. Uh, three or four, like, I just had, like, a girl next door, and, like, we used to pretend we were married and, like, did, you know, stupid, like, you know, like, you know, the yeah. marriage game. Oh, we've all did. But not, yeah. not I beg your pardon, Lisa. Yeah. But, but, <laughs> it, 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 but no intercourse, anything like no, no, that. No, 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 no. No, no. 
Yeah, nothing directed sexually. No, that's right. insane. Right. But look, you, you may just be a 17-year-old who <laughs> yeah, just has a, basically a crack pipe sitting in his, in his bedroom, which right. is, the, well, is the Internet. I, I mean, uh, uh, Drew, imagine. Uh, when we were 17. Imagine 16, 17 years old, a magical box. It's in your room. It's in your room, and this is a porthole to the world. It's like... Hey, uh, you know that uh, Alyssa Milano? You see her on that TV show? Want to see her topless? Yeah. What do I? What do I got to do? Climb uh, Mount Kilimanjaro? No, no. It's right here in the box. <laughs> Let's just type her name in. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Paris Hilton. You seen that show? Is she? Uh huh. Yeah. She's giving oral to this dude. Really? How do I? What? What? what, what I take? What, I take uh, rough cut diamonds and drag them to na- Indonesia? No, no. It's right in the box. <laughs> here we go. Yep. There she is. Like, you'd be, like, if someone could bring you back, if someone built a time machine and just brought you that, you'd be, oh, oh, my God. <laughs> and, and like, you got a question? You got term paper coming up, right? Yeah. You got a question about something? You go to the library, right? No, no, no. It's in the box. You go to the library, flip through what the cards. Do, do, a, no, no. Read the books. No, what are you doing to term paper on? Uh, Mount Kilimanjaro, interestingly. Mount Kilimanjaro, there you go. It's printing. It's printing your page. It's printing your term page. Oh, my now. God. You got to type your name in, though. Where's where's Lisa Milano? <laughs> I'll get back there. Yeah, that's it. What are you into? You into big jugs? You into black chicks? Black and white? Like anal? Big, big dongs? Stump porn? What are you into? What do you like? I'll just type. I'll just type right in. Give the main word. Here's a on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Here's a magic button. You would, you'd be guard. First, you'd be up all night with a pistol, like just sitting in front of it, like just sweating, like a whip and a pistol. It's like anyway, someone's got to try to get this box away from me. I won't let them do it. <laughs> what? What you were going on? You, your crab would just crack open. You explode. <laughs> you just you'd be, you'd, it, it, you would, your combustion. head would explode. You bottled. sound bitter. <laughs> head would explode. We missed it. it. We missed it. Yeah. Oh, I had my raft box <clears throat> and and the St. Pauli girl cut out. There you go. Yeah. 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 So good the, times. The, the, the point is, is what? <laughs> What's what would you be, be doing? Yeah. yeah. What? Seventeen-year-old guy would not. It, it almost it, not it suggests it. really when you really think about it, it suggests a new sort of imperative in parenting help 17 year old males contain themselves yes because they Stop can't, they me can't do it on their I own yeah. again. <laughs> it's true what I, I can't especially now here's the other thing too yeah. you're going to be able to <sighs> navigate every kid who's you know born uh, you know after uh, 1990 is going to be able to navigate the computer yeah, no like problem. you know a, a technician of years ago just <laughs> i mean type in 70 words a minute and stuff they can find anything they want so whatever whatever it is if they can't find a picture of their favorite star naked they'll build one right. on the computer right. i i don't know how you're going to get and and if you think about you know, when you were 15 or 16 and through, five years. and the crazy, uh, you know, the, the testosterone kicking in, the hormones kicking in. Please. What, what, how, how do you get yourself away from the computer? No? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What is this going to do? Desensitize everybody? I, I'm, not, I'm thinking it might charge them up. I, I think it might uh, heat things up a bit. And yeah, it looks, Mike's a great, maybe we should sort of poke at Mike a little bit and see what this is maybe a new breed. Mike? Yeah. So you got a time machine? So, <laughs> now. so you had no sexual abuse and no addiction to the family, right? No. So that, that sort of mitigates it, against it. Is it, it com- unlikely is a computer you're in your room? Uh, you no, know, we just have a computer room, and I, and I usually do it you know, when my parents are home or whatever. I right. hope so. Yeah, in the middle of the night. Hey, do you do it in the middle of the night, or do you just do it during the day when they're at work? Um, both. Yeah. All right. And you sneak in, and hey, you see, here's the thing. Oh. If, if, if you have He's a computer... You put the computer in the middle of the living room. You you have a spotlight on it. You put it inside a shark cage, (laughs) and uh, don't matter. You just have kid will dig under the house and come up through the bottom, right? (laughs) Oh, absolutely. (laughs) Oh, all right. I'm angry. I don't know why I'm angry. So he's worried. What's his question? He thinks he's doing too much of this, and that it's you know he's getting out of control. He may be. He sounds compulsed about it. That's for sure. But we're we're sort of exploring whether or not that what's well. Here's here's the only thing. Here's the only thing I think is going to save a a teenage boy is a a girlfriend. Yeah, that's going to cut into it. Yeah, yeah. B. Uh, a social life, lots right. of friends, lots of activities, and, and some some break it, just like you would a, an eating habit or something. You know, it's it's any little compulsion. Uh, you got to stop. It's hard. Let me tell you the number of times I've uh, said to myself, "No beating off," 
and the times have actually not beat off after making the proclamation of no beating <laughs> off. A zero. Like the shame you feel after you actually do. And I'm disgusted yeah, at myself. It's disgusting. Not just myself, it, it is the disgusting. world. But yeah, do you think that, disgusting. going back to the sky, do you think yeah. that affects his relationships? He doesn't have any. That's the He's thing. busy. He's 17. Okay. He's busy, you know, <laughs> taking the wind out of his own sail. Uh, here's what I'm saying. He's got to, first off, <laughs> he's got to work on He's got to get something. Yeah. He's got to get a girl, and he's got to get activities. He's got to yeah. get a sport. He's got to get a hobby. Yeah. He's got to get golf. That's what you he get, needs. You've got to get golf. You, six hours out sure there chasing a ball around. Break this one. <laughs> All right. We're, uh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Love line. 1-800-L-O-V-E-191. Everybody, it's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's uh, Dr. Drew. Drew just scalded me with uh, steaming hot water. Wait a minute. Do you scalded me or scalded me? Scalded. Yeah, scalded. Scalding, scalding me. is what you always do to me. Yeah, you <laughs> scalded me, Drew. <laughs> By the way, did you have that in the microwave? No. Oh, really? Just out of the out of the, the uh, uh, hot tamp thing. Yeah. Wow, that thing was hot. Anyway, Drew's a Drew's a clumsy man. He's a man of exquisite passion, but yet clumsy. So I could imagine. You just come to terms with that. You just, you just, oh, yeah. No, I know. I just imagine the ladies. Here's a man who's, you know, highly motivated yet clumsy. That could, you know, he could break some hearts, some hymen, some furniture in the bedroom. But that's yeah. endearing. Guys oh, like that. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Lisa Durgan, big fan of uh, Dr. True over there. She's a woman of passion herself, yes? Thank you. And here, Chris has uh, got some paper towels. Hold on a second. Uh, Chris, you may take one of those paper towels for yourself. <laughs> it's going to be a long ride home with those trading cards. Long ride. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why ruin the nice velour interior in the uh, Ranger? Oh, yes. Nothing <laughs> wrong with that. You need to give him something to collect for his spin art. <laughs> Forget the paper towel. <laughs> All right. Lisa Durgan here tonight. I'm going to go visit his brother tomorrow. www.benchwarmer.com. Engineer Chris's brother uh, works at a uh, Starbucks, Starbucks, Starbucks hospital somewhere around. Well, it's within a forty-mile radius of where Drew works. Drew thinks he can get uh, save a nickel on a medium no, uh, so far, cup no. of Java. So no, far, no. no go. But he's going back again. Yeah, have maybe, your brother. Maybe he'll cut uh, like ten cents off. Yeah, have your br have your brother float uh, Drew a break over there. I've had, how many times we got to mention the place on the air before he gives you a cup of Java? Yeah, exactly. All right, let's. Uh, I had a weird thing uh, happen to me. What well, happened? I was, uh, I went to uh, the Coffee Bean place uh, down yeah. the street from uh, Kimmel's. Yeah. And uh, we go there, all the riders uh, go there uh, after the uh, lunch meeting every day, get a cup of coffee, and I always pay. And uh, I ha had a guy who never pays who was with me who uh, wanted to get his card stamped. And I don't have a card. Drew, what are you doing? What are you doing there, Chris? Oh, okay. <laughs> was, was getting it a little. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. All right, Drew. What's I, wrong I'm with sorry. you? What's wrong with you? Uh, you? You had to see what I saw. I was trying to get your. I attention. saw it too. Well, this guy's got a boner. I know. He's <laughs> trying to sit down with a boner. <laughs> I understand. It's not easy. I understand. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. You're at the coffee. Oh band. yeah. So they stamped the card. I don't have the card. That's low rent. You right, know that right. card where you go. You yes. get ten of them. You get one free. Yes. But uh, the guy I did buy the coffee for had the card. He wanted to get his card stamped, even though I bought him the coffee. Yeah. I told him no. Uh, you know what I mean? You're a prick. That's a power move, right? No. <laughs> and he was like, they were like, well, we'll stamp any card, because yeah. you guys, you just bought five coffees. Well, I don't have a card. Well, he wants his card. I was being an a-hole. Yeah. But it's a nice <laughs> move. Yeah. And he was like, well, why don't you, why don't you just stamp? I said, no, nah, don't, don't stamp his card. There'll be no stamping. Yeah? So you're I don't calling your friend low rent. Yeah. I don't have a card to stamp. Right. I just don't want, that's my move. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a power move. Does that turn you on, Lisa? No, that wouldn't turn me on. I thought so. <laughs> What'd she say? <laughs> <laughs> Claudia, 22. Claudia? Yeah. There you are. What's Where up? A man was so powerful he could buy three medium <laughs> coffees and then not get his buddy's card stamped. <laughs> that, that, that kind of power, that kind of flagrant power doesn't turn you on? It's not enough. Wow. Oh. Lottie, you, have to, you have to buy like 10 coffees. <laughs> yeah. Claudia? Yes. You're 22. No one's named Claudia anymore. Did you yeah, notice that? I didn't notice that. What happened to Claudia? It's a pretty name. I don't know. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Last one. So my question is, um, I like rough sex. Sure. And I also mean kind of like role-playing, you know, like 
little bit of bondage, nothing mm-hmm. too severe, and it's with mm-hmm. someone that I trust very much. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. but I'm concerned about the activity just because I'm surprised that it, it's, I'm so drawn to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what's your question? Do you have a safe word when you guys get rough? A safe word? Um, we've never gotten rough enough that that's really been necessary. All right. Um, but I, I know what you mean. All right. I don't I've, know what you mean. What does that mean? Safe word? When it safe gets word? a little too far? Later when it crash into your house? <laughs> right. I was explaining it. I think to, that... Um, yeah. All right, hold on. I gotta explain this. Uh, safe word... I think I get it, but... That's well, all right. Let's say if you're into the uh, rough trade, you know, like a little this bondage. This is the S&M thing going on. A little on. S&M All going right. on. We get a little role playing. You know, I give a little tug of the hair, <laughs> how much you love it, talk about the spin R. <laughs> and I, I give it a tough talk. I'm like, those crappy trading cards, no gum. <laughs> what were you thinking, bitch? Shh, don't talk. All don't is talk. your holding I'm, I'm don't, grabbing don't your hair. Don't look at me. Don't, don't look, look at me. me. <laughs> don't look. Don't look. <laughs> Look at me. This is what it's going to sound like when we get it on. <laughs> is that you? This is David, o- David, o- David, o- David o- Greer doing an Adam impersonation. Yeah, that's what it's going to be like. <laughs> And at one point, I get the safe tired word when I'm done. gets said, and it all goes back to it, "Hi, honey." If it if it gets if it gets out of hand. We got a uh, we got a safe word, you see, and okay. I hear that safe word, and uh, you know I know to stop. Like for us, it'd be uh, my boyfriend's home. It'd be our <laughs> safe word. All right, okay. I hear that. I pull right out. Yes, Drew. Yes. <sighs> All right. I just We're remember f- the, the "I hate your mother" story. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but um, like I said, that's not really the issue that I'm calling about. I'm just concerned. That that's what I'm drawn to because the behavior itself is something that has so mm-hmm. much stigma attached to it. All right. Well, well there's any stigma attached to it. It's just a little it, bit. It, it can mean things. And if yeah. you need high levels of arousal in order to feel sexual, it can mean that the parts of your brain that sort of normally become aroused have been, let's call it burned out or changed as a result of high levels of maybe abuse or even deprivation in childhood. Mm-hmm. And so these are ways that those things happen. If you're just into this as sort of a, of a style, something you kind of just enjoy, that's fine. But if you need it to function sexually, then it means something. Uh, so what should she know, do? I'm curious. I'm curious about what you said. What do you mean by deprivation in terms of childhood? Well, if you were abandoned and neglected, that sort of thing. Wow, see, that that could strike a clue. And that's why I've always been curious, because there's no sexual trauma, and that's often what people attribute to sort of... No, nah, the it, there, there, it's different forms of abuse physical, get you there. Yeah. Uh, deprivation, so you were left alone. Or abandoned, I mean, not that. All right, yeah. yeah. Latchkey kid, we used to call him back uh, when the they were day. making movies of the week about that sort of nonsense. All right, baby doll, how about a little therapy, everybody? Could be. All right, we'll take a quick Good break. Times. We'll be right back. Okay, so I know there's nothing wrong with me. So what's up? So I was like you, and I used to think that these Datelines were totally cheesy. Why can't I meet anybody? But I tried everything else and thought, what the hell? So I called the Dateline and actually met a cool guy. I called the Dateline and I hooked up with some cool people. Believe it or not, other normal people are out there looking too. 877-889-DATE. 1-800-LOVE-191. We'll be right back. This hour... to show her, but I want to thank Lisa Durgan for coming in here. Always a delight. It's always great seeing you guys. And a good sport. Always a good sport. You guys sport. are like the married couple, I swear. Thanks. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> this week, I get to be the dude. No way. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's an odd... Oh, no. I yeah. caught last week. Oh. We got to work this out. Yeah, we got to have... Our, what's our safe word? <laughs> F you. Drew's safe word is I'm hungry. <laughs> We go out. We go out to Noggles at 4 a.m. Lisa Durgan, everybody. www.benchwarmer.com. Get these cards and uh, get the collector series with no gum. They're with going to no be gum. worth something one day. Absolutely. Chris, you bring the spin art back tomorrow. And until next time, this is Adam Crowley for Dr. Drew saying mahalo. Good night. This has been Loveline. 
The opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or this station. The producer for Loveline is Ann Ingold. Loveline is a presentation of Westwood One Entertainment. Classic alternative and the cutting edge. KIDS San Francisco. The one and only. Live 105. show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or this station. The producer for Loveline is Ann Ingold. Loveline is a presentation of Westwood One Entertainment.